dun, 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 dun. Thank you for checking out the first episode of this series on understanding weightlifting for the athlete, where we're gonna be going over how to snatch, clean, and jerk, but we're gonna be doing it in a non-traditional way that simplifies the entire process of lifting weights so that you can focus on maximizing your output and training and ultimately on the competition platform. This is a system that is meant for beginners and those with experience lifting. Ultimately, my goal is to set a foundation for your lifts that enables you to walk up to the bar with confidence and with a clear mind. Now, that probably sounds really nice, and depending on your experience with weightlifting, that might sound like a really far-fetched idea, but I promise it's not. Weightlifting is really hard, but it doesn't have to be confusing. Now, most lifters will approach the bar for any given lift with a long list of mental cues of things to do and not do, and not not do, but make sure to do during a lift. It sounds really confusing when you think about it that way, and that's because it is. If you're lifting weights like that, essentially what you're doing is trying to perform an incredibly athletic movement one single muscle group at a time. And sure, that might be how you would approach a bodybuilding style of workout where your goal is simply to make your muscles larger, but that's not the goal in weightlifting, where we're trying to maximize your power output on a barbell. Now, this problem has a root, and that root is not recognizing that Olympic weightlifting is not just a set of exercises, it's a sport. And weightlifting has to be played like a sport. And like any sport, you need to set a good foundation of understanding in order to play that sport well. Now, before we get too far into that, let's go over some big picture stuff. Weightlifting is unique in the realm of strength sports because weightlifting is not just the sport of can you pick it up, it's the sport of can you pick it up all the way. So we're not just testing your ability to produce power, we're testing your ability to produce power to lift a barbell above your head until you literally can't anymore. Now, the common way to perform these movements is to think about things like back angle and quad activation and ankle movement and elbow position. And while those aspects of your lift might be important and they might have a place, I would argue that place is solely in the realm of coaching and assessment. If you're thinking about such a small succession of details during your lift, you're ultimately micromanaging your body and you're trying to perform a lift by thinking about what it looks like to the person standing beside you. Now, while those aspects or those observations of your lift, they might be representative of technical faults and they might be important, no athlete is gonna get better at lifting an extremely heavy weight as high as they possibly can by thinking about external feedback like that. First, lifting weights by thinking about what it looks like will rarely make you do the right thing at the right time. And even if you are able to apply the direct changes that you're trying to, the most you can really hope for is a counterbalance to the problem that you were previously demonstrating. Now, the point here is very simple, but I'll say it one more time. You cannot excel in the moment by zooming in on individual muscles in your body. You have to be thinking about the system as a whole. So my goal is to give you a way to lift where your sole focus is on being mean and strong with the barbell. Now to be able to do that, we gotta lay a little bit of groundwork. Simplifying and perfecting your lifting starts with an understanding that you as the lifter can only directly affect your lift in three ways. If you do a bad lift, at least one of these three factors is gonna be off. And more importantly, if you have these three factors on lock, it is only possible to do a good lift. Those three factors that you can control are your brace, your aim, and your tempo. If you can start lifting by focusing on those three factors and those three factors alone, you're gonna be able to actualize your strength a lot more efficiently, meaning you generate more power. If you generate more power, you're gonna lift more weights, meaning you get stronger faster, meaning you lift even more weights. Now these positive changes can happen really fast, but they only happen if you put in the work and the time to setting a good foundation. The following videos are based in building that foundation by creating a really solid understanding of the principles of brace and aim and tempo, as well as how to control them. We're gonna start really simple and break each factor down step by step so that you can really start simplifying the process of lifting weights and begin generating better training and competition results.